So I had a really crazy idea to stress me out today and I thought why not do the 10 minute build challenge but in The Sims 2 but try and do a series out of it where I build a different house in 10 minutes in The Sims 2, 3, and 4 and then going from The Sims 4 all the way back to The Sims 1 because Sims 1 and Sims 4 are completely different games from separate eras and I feel like going from an a new game to an old game should be pretty, pretty interesting. And I want to start with The Sims 2 because it's my favorite game that I like playing all the time. And it's kind of nostalgic. So I thought, why not do a little fundy funds, little buildy build and um, not cry. But if we cry, we can cry together. Now that we have our lot and our timer, I think it's probably the right time to start the clock and stress out for 10 minutes and then breathe afterwards. But I don't know about you, but every time there's like a clock and there's like a timer, I get stressed, I get very anxious, and I never know what to do. But for this one, we're gonna be we're gonna be fine. I have a build vision in my mind that I wanna build today. It may not look good, but that's okay. We're not going with something fancy, we're going with something functional and less ugly-ish. But let's start our timer and get ready in three, two, one, go. Okay. So now that I have my timer going, I think for the home today, I want to go with something more suburban, something simple and just easy and elegant, but make it functional and like livable. But what's so sad about this house that I'm, I literally just built that it looks exactly like the house that I built in The Sims 4 not too long ago. And what's so funny is that I tend to build the same exact house pretty much 99% of the time, but making it semi fancy, but small and affordable. Now, I don't know if this house is going to be affordable whatsoever, but if it turns out being affordable, good for my Sims because Lordy Lou, all of my Sims are broker than broke than Brandy Broke, who literally lives two houses down from this exact lot, which is kind of funny. And she's still broke, but she has like four kids by two different people and is now an elder, but that's not my problem. My problem is that this house is uneven and it makes me kind of sad and I don't want to deal with it right now. And I personally wanna move this mailbox so close to the door just because it would make more sense to have the mailbox over here and then the trash can over here. That way I can snag this little flooring right here and I have it lead up to the doorway. That is not the right one. This is the right one. That's not the right one either. Wait, is this the right one? It is. Okay, good. We have that there. Perfumundo. But I think for the interior though, for the inside, I want to deal with that first and then I can deal with the wallpaper later. Now for this inside, I think for the bedroom, I'm going to go with one over here. Like make that a bedroom, probably make this a bathroom. And this could be like a small little like kitchenette thing over here, a small little kitchen with a dining room over here, maybe a living room over here, like in the den center. Or this could be the kitchen. I really don't know. But I think for what I'm trying to do here is that we'll have a door probably most likely like right here. We'll have a door right here and then a door right here. Actually, I'll move the door over here. Personally, with these type of challenges, I feel like I should make no mistake and just move on and hope for the best. Because if I sit here and lollygag for like two seconds, I'm going to lose my marbles and then just ends up not being the same or the way I want it. But you know what? That's okay. We move on and persevere. Bob Ross always says, don't stress, be happy. Actually, he's never said that. I've said it before. But I always say, don't worry, be happy. And personally, just go with the flow and you hope for the best. And we don't stress about the little things. Because when you stress about the little things, you become overwhelmed and it's not worthy and it's not good for your mentality or your general health. I want a tree. I want a tree here. I want a tree right here. Maybe another tree. Mm, do I want a tree right there? No, I don't. I don't want a tree right there. Actually, let's do it. Let's do it. You know what? Don't second guess yourself, Stephen. You'll be fine. Let's add an olive oil. A little shrubbery here. And I've learned over time that with The Sims 2, when it comes to objects, you have to place them in the correct place or they will literally not work. Like these hedges have to be positioned a correct way. That way you can trim your hedges. Or if you hire a gardener, they have to trim them the, the correct way as well. So personally, do I really care where they're positioned right now? No. Will I upload this for you all to download if you have The Sims 2? Yes, and then you all can fix my mistakes and then I don't have to and then I won't have to cry. But personally, I only have six minutes left and that's just not good and I'm dealing with landscaping today. Who am I? I seriously need to get with the program today and it's not working in my favor. I'm gonna actually just keep doing all of this. There we go. That's perfect. 
I love it. It's great. Fantastic. Leave it alone, Stephen. Don't touch it anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So for the inside, let's do all of our basic flooring that I always end up doing anyway. This will be the bathroom over here. Actually, I'm going to do the flooring over here. This will be the kitchenette small area. And then for the rest of the house, we're going to do wood flooring to be on the safe side. And then for the wallpaper, I think I have one that I always end up going with, which I really, really desperately love a lot. I think it's actually this paint. Where did it go? Hmm. Ooh, there is this one I like, but I like this green. I always end up going with this green all the time. But something about like the trim and like, you know, the board and batten at the at the bottom just looks really nice. And it screams homey and, you know, like suburban. It just speaks to me on a personal level. And I really do much adore it. We're going to do the green for the kitchen as well. It'll be easier. And then for the bathroom, we'll go with straight up white. There we go. And then for the bedroom, I don't want to go with the same one, but there is another one that I always end up using. It's this one. You know, 50 shades of green speaks to me and I think it looks quite dandy and lovely. And I do not have time to do the separate trim. If I do, I will do it. But right now I do not. <gasps> My wallpaper. No, what happened? Oh no, I don't have time for mistakes today. We'll just do it individually. Now for the kitchen, let's do this. Yeah, let's do a kitchen over here. Let's get this window right here. And then for the kitchen, uh, kitchen, 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 kitchen. Here it is. Now for the kitchen, we'll do the basic cabinets and counters. That's just counters because there are no cabinets in this game whatsoever. Let's take this and we'll do like that. We'll have a little island here. Ooh, we'll have, mm, no, we'll just, we'll take it out. We'll take it out. We'll have this here. And then I will have the stove here and the fridge here. That way it's more simple and better. Let's do this one. And then we'll have a lovely stove, which I cannot find. My brain is broken. Help, help, help. Here it is. Here we go. Okay, we have that. Perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. There we go. <laughs> It doesn't match at all and have three minutes. How is that possible? What the heck? What is going on? I don't even have a dining room or a living room or anything at all. I feel like I'm flopping today. Okay, I need to stop looking at the clock and we'll be fine. We'll have a little nice little table here. Actually, we'll do this table here. The Ikea one. And I think I also made this house way too big, which is honestly, that's okay. It's called ready to move in room for improvement. That's all we can really do today. Actually, let's ignore the living room here. Let's put the bedroom in here for the quick second i'm going to put it over here on, along this wall and then we're going to have two nightstands which honestly now that i realize i probably should have deleted all of my cc that i had in my game which is very very little but i also find that having all this in here does not me does not do me any justice whatsoever do i really need a desk yeah i do i want a desk let's let's be fancy for one day i have a desk right here here the ikea desk lovely perfect great we'll have a computer as well the basic of the basics perfect and we'll have a chair perfect <laughs> do i need a mirror as well i don't but i do but i want one so we're going to add one singular mirror onto the wall right there perfect now for the bathroom what we can add in here is a shower tub combo which we will add in the basic one that i always am using this one we'll put in the toilet right here and then for the sink action we will put in this basic one some probably some decor as well oh a mirror first and foremost a mirror <gasps> i have one minute left oh my gosh help me please i'm so slow at building it's not even funny but also how in the world did i build this whole entire house and then manage to even physically stay sane enough to add in all of this it might just be the stress talking but you know what that's okay when in doubt stress out but when in doubt plant a tree bob ross always says when in doubt, add a tree. It'll make your life happier and better. And I think I can just calm myself down for a split second and breathe. I probably, oh, there's a go. I'm like, I'm looking for my couch. I can't find it. I want my couch. I want it in red. There we go. I want this couch in red. And then I also want to have some like activities, maybe like a little drink bar we can probably put behind here. And then I also want to have like an entertainment system. We'll put in the stereo which we'll put right here maybe also where is the video game here it is the video game thing put the video game thing over here and then I do want to have like a microwave of some sort in the kitchen because there's only technically two spaces you can use for cooking so we will add in that is a bedroom oh my gosh that's the bedroom where's the kitchen where's the kitchen where's the kitchen oh my gosh kitchen 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 we we'll put that here I love that it looks lovely the sink is in the bathroom which is not ideal 
But you know what? We'll add this right here. Actually, you know what? No, we'll put this right here and then we'll add in the sink as well, which we will put in right here. There we go. I have 26 seconds. What else can I add in? Oh, I have activities, activities, activities. Let me put in the easel and then I can put in the bookshelf right here. Oh, not that one, not that one, this one. Let me add in these two bookshelves right here. Move that right there. I have 12 seconds. Maybe I can squeeze in maybe a pet, uh, a pet bowl, pet something. I don't know what to add in here. Pet bowl right here, pet bowl. And then that's so loud in my ear. That stressed me out. <laughs> Wait, I don't even have a bin. You know what? You can use the outdoor one. It's okay. It's okay. Wait, I also have no lights in this house. That's something I just realized. I, oh gosh, I just realized I don't have any lights in this house whatsoever, but you know what? For a house this size, and the, the fact that I did this all in 10 minutes is quite nerve wracking. <laughs> I realized the phone was floating. I ignored it. I did want to add in like some type of pet related stuff because I knew I had room in the bedroom that I could squeeze in maybe a pet bed of some type. You know what? I'm going to add in like the basic stuff that I want to have in here. We'll add in a cat litter box. I want to have a cat in here. A cat is much needed for sure. And what I want to add in the basic decor as well. I wanted to add in this mirror with the medicine cabinet. But I realized I couldn't find it because my brain was like, no, stop it right now. Don't you dare add that thing in there. You know, you won't be able to find it. But I knew I was going to be able to find it eventually. But I did want to have like this like bedroom being basic with the basic, you know, mattress and the basic cover. I could have added in a alarm clock as well. That could have been like a very good thing to add in because with The Sims 2, what you could do is you can set the alarm clock for school or work vice versa if you want to do either one and I think that's like really cool because your sims would wake up to the alarm clock going off like this timer went off in my ear and I'm telling you it is no joke up in this economy but for a house this size I like it it looks lovely and I cannot wait to try it in the sims 3 next time for next week for next video but if you want to download this house and you have the sims 2 on you know pc or Mac. I will put the download link down below in the description in case you all want it. I don't really know if anyone actually has a Sims 2 or not, but if you want to get it, it's down below. As of always, like all my other social media links, as you always know. But either way, as always, do let me know down in the comments below, as always, of what do you thought of today's build, especially the idea that I had where I'm going to be doing the 10 minute build challenge in The Sims 2, 3, and 4, and then going from The Sims 4 all the way back to The Sims 1, where it first started The Sims era of life simulation. Because personally, going from a new game to an old game is completely nerve wracking, but it's gonna be totally, totally worth it. And I cannot wait for y'all to see the builds that I'll be doing for this set series. But lo and behold, that is that. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.